I read this book called Atomic Habits, and essentially uh, the premise goes you want to increase everything you do by 5%, or you want to incrementally increase uh, what you work on. So let's say with study, right, we want to increase um, our productivity by 5% each time we study, or at least um, you know, uh, if a technique would provide us with 5% extra uh, productivity, we'd want to increase that. So, the Pomodoro... Pomodoro... What the fuck is it called? Um, Alright, so... I, I've been practicing this technique for uh, almost a week now. And I'll tell you how... If it works or not. I'll tell you if it works or not. So far, it's been really good. So, let's just say you have a three-hour session, which is what I've been doing. I've been doing three-hour sessions. Now, three... If you're going three hours or longer, you definitely need to do this, I think, in retrospect. Um... Studying for longer than two hours, at least for me, you really start to lose concentration, you really start to fatigue um, after that two hour mark. Whereas you can go for much longer if you do a Pomodoro technique, Pomodoro, tomato one, I'll just call it tomato technique. You can do it a lot quicker, or it feels a lot faster if you do a tomato technique. Um, so I'll go over the benefits really quickly. Um, so it feels faster. Um, you're a lot sharper for a long period of time. Doing longer sessions at the library, you could really get through a lot, or just study sessions in general. Um, like, you could probably go for five hours uh, on a proper Pomodoro. Uh, uh, the negatives is that I find that, personally, it takes me like 10 minutes to kind of get into like a flow state. And what will often happen is, is that I'll have 10 minutes of kind of gathering myself, figuring out what's going on, 15 minutes of flow state, and then it'll just cut um, to break as soon as kind of I'm in the middle of something. And so, see, what the whole, what you want to avoid with the Pomodoro technique is that you don't want to um, not break when it's the five minutes, because otherwise you just go back to normal and you're not really ever taking a break. Um, and then you're just gonna last like two hours or whatever and it just feels like so let's say you skip a break You miss five minutes the next five minutes coming up won't feel like long enough and then you'll just fatigue again So it's really important that you break for those five minutes. It's really important. You break for those five minutes um, But what often happens is is that you kind of lose concentration of where you were and then it takes a bit of time to get back into flow state um, Like again that extra five to ten minutes of trying to remember where you were um, so it's really important that you kind of know when the time is going to break then you set yourself up and you leave where you left off like if you're writing if you if you're in the middle of writing a paragraph for an assignment like I was and then you just kind of leave halfway um, yeah I think assignments if you're doing an assignment do a Pomodoro technique because it helps you keep track of how long you've been on it and it makes it feel a lot faster you can it goes a lot quicker when you just do a bunch of little chunks instead of just like one big and again, you're just getting more break time as well. Another con I find is that uh, when you break, you really have to just like stare at the wall for a break or just like, when they, whenever somebody says do something fun, it's always bullshit. Like you can't go on your phone, like the temptation to go on your phone is just ridiculous. You really have to just put your phone away. Um, and then also, yeah, I'm not too sure what you could do in five minutes that really feels like a break, uh, honestly, staring at the, like just lying down on my bed literally for five minutes is the only thing and then you need the willpower to get off the bed in time but it doesn't take that much but yeah i would recommend it if you haven't tried it and i do think it increases the amount of total time in flow state particularly for the long assignments uh for things like quizlets like for example i do dentistry so what that means is that you have to have um like what well, I, I study anatomy right so um it, they're just facts that you just do flashcards and stuff like that. Um, you could probably just do, you don't, you, I don't think you would need Pomodoro for, for flashcards, but um, that could still help. But yeah, but that's that's it for today, and hopefully we can get another uh, increment sorted next week. I'd also like to know what you guys think. Um, yeah. Let me know if Pomodoro works for you or if you stopped using it for a particular reason. Uh, that would be really cool. Thanks.